It is a 708 mile trip down to Salzburg. And that is where we are heading right now to take on Red Bull Salzburg in the first leg of the Euro Cup second knockout round. And we'll have highlights for that. Highlights from the Arsenal League match, who we just dismantled 8-1 last episode in the FA Cup. And then we will be playing the second leg out in this episode. Episode 32, coming at you next. Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. As I said, episode 32 of our Football Manager 21 Journeyman Save. And we've got an action-packed episode today. Uh, two sets of highlights. The first leg against Salzburg in uh, the Euro Cup, the Arsenal League match, and then we'll play out the full match against Red Bull Salzburg. Uh, in front of the home crowd at King Power. Uh, we did beat Everton 2 0. Jamie Romaine, I don't need to hit that button. Jamie Romaine and Cesar with two goals in a two minute span to give us the win there. Taking a look at the league, we are still five points clear of Man United and Arsenal. Uh, Ar Arsenal way behind on goal differential. We are at plus 38, uh, 21 wins from 29. Uh, I would sure like to see a few more draws, but, eh, well, you know, because, boy, if we had draws, we might have a 10-point lead at this point. But anyway, let me get this first leg played, and we'll show you some highlights right now. So Salzburg playing a 4-3-3, and we countered with our 4-2-4. Hildon with the set-piece header from the corner put us up 1-0 in the 24th minute. They tried to clear it. Licka is on the ball, sends it over to Baffer near the spot, and that gave us a 2-0 advantage. Things were looking good for us, but the bloodletting was just beginning. Mark finds Graves. Graves cuts inside and beats Rami, and that made it 3-0. And we were thinking that we would be sitting here looking really good. 35th minute, through ball to Mark. Beats his man, and he beats the keeper at the near post. Rami came out, tried to cut down the angle, but Mark was too good for him. Romaine, back to the keeper. A quick two-pass up to the top. Mark puts it in for his second goal of the first half, and we were up 5-0. Mark would then start an attack near the midfield. Lays it off to Graves in the middle. A good pass to his strike partner. Sharing the wealth. Graves with his second. Made it 6-0, Lester. A throw in. Pascarello off the bench. Gets it up to Mark. He takes a couple of touches. Beats the keeper as easy as you like. And it's 7-0. Reminiscent of the Arsenal game setting in. Romain lays it in. Mapasi took one shot. Got deflected. The second time he made them pay, and it was an eight to nothing advantage to Leicester City. In the 87th minute, Mapasi just sitting alone at the top of the box, and he put it in. What a great finish. 32 shots, 20 on target. Their keeper was just pelted all game. That's got to be some kind of violation of. What do they call it? What's that? Uh, the international uh, rules against warfare and stuff. Uh, the Geneva Convention. That's it. The Geneva Convention. It's got to be a violation of the Geneva Convention to put 20 shots on target for a keeper. But that's the away. So we've got nine goals in hand away. I think we're doing okay. Rene Esser did play in this one, but he was injured. Out for three weeks. Baffer's out for about a week and a half. And Lest, uh, Mark, three goals, two assists, and a perfect 10 rating. Can't get much better than that, fellas. <laughs> well, that took a little while. We're going to go play Arsenal now, and here come the highlights for that. All right, we are going to come back a little early. We're going to have the draws for the quarter and semifinals of the Euro Cup, just in case we make it. So let's take a look at the quarters. 
All right, so it'll be the winner of our match with Red Bull Salzburg, and we will get Newcastle or Club Bruges, or Circle Bruges. I'm sorry, that's not Club Bruges. And there is the rest of the order there. And let's take a look at the semifinal. And that puts us in with, those, with Salzburg, Newcastle, and Circle Bruges against Grenoble, FCP, Gijet Gijan and Sporting from Portugal. You know, a lot of Portuguese teams there in that side of the draw. So, I think those are all winnable. I, th I think. I don't know any of those clubs. Sporting we know, right? But, you know, from real life. But I don't know any of them right now. We haven't been in those countries. Two losses in five. Man United now three up on Arsenal. But we also have a game in hand. So that's not over yet. We need to get a win against Arsenal today, and that's going to help Man United, unfortunately. But we don't want to lose either. So one has to wonder how seriously Arsenal took that FA Cup match. But Hildon, with another set-piece goal, spots as a 1-0 lead in the 17th minute. Jasufi, Mark... Graves and then Romain catches the deflection. We had to move Romain over to the left with Baffer being out injured, and that gave us a two to nothing advantage. There's a big through ball. Fowler was beaten, and they score to make it two to one in the 30th minute. And in the 53rd minute, still two one to Leicester. There's a through ball. Sophia makes the defensive stop. But it gets through, and Romain plays it over to Graves, 3-1. to one. And in the 89th minute, a tackle, Ortiz, I thought Treori was offsides there, but they don't give it. And that made it 3-2, to two, but we would hold on uh, and get the win there. So that was a big deal. Romain is now one assist away from 15 on the season. And that's 15 league assists. That'll be worth 75000 and, uh, yeah, so we didn't lose Romaine, uh, not Romaine, we didn't lose Graves or Mark in the transfer window. A lot of rumors about both of them, somewhere in that 80 to $90 million range, but uh, nobody came in. Uh, they're going to have to make a really good bid. I mean, they're, they're probably the two top goal scorers. In fact, are they? Well, Mark is definitely, and, yeah, I don't think... I don't think he's very far behind. 31. Yeah, he's he's not very far behind. How many league goals does he have, though? 19. Okay, but still, playing lights out, man. All right, well, we do have, uh, I guess it'll be an anticlimactic match, but we do have Salzburg uh, coming up in the second leg. You know what? I'm going to make a decision here. I'm going to play that off camera, too since we dominated them at 9 nothing, Let's go ahead and play that one off camera. We'll come back, give you guys the score, and then we'll play Bristol City in the FA Cup quarterfinal. Maybe something a little more juicy uh, for us to sink our teeth into. So, sporting the large advantage, we played a heavily... Well, we did more rotation. Cesar getting a start up top. He scores. There you also see Carlos Vitor. Pascarillo, Rowe, uh, Rui Ramos, so a couple of guys that don't play a lot for us, uh, but you do see some of the crew that you would be expecting to see. Uh, there's another goal, 2 nothing. headed out, couldn't get a good clearance, Cesar puts it back in, and that makes it 2-0 uh, there. Romain gets the goal on the set piece, that makes it 3-0. And we would get one more. Roe finds Romain, gets it to Cesar, who finds Graves, and Graves adds to his goal tally. So I think we had four, 34 goals in the Euros, and the record for the most goals in a tournament uh, for the Euros was 40. So we got four today. So I think we're on 38 now, and we win 13 nil aggregate. We pick up $1.29 million. And this David Mozan guy is uh, evidently scouting all of our best players. Now he's looking at Cesar. 
And we draw Newcastle uh, in the Euro Cup for the net, for the quarterfinals. Fowler will be suspended for that due to yellow card accumulation. But let's get up to Bristol City. All right, we've just brought in our youth intake, and you can see there's not a whole lot there. I mean, I guess let's take a look at Chris Morgan. So, I mean, he's got good. He's got really good first touch, decent finishing. You know, you sit there and go three star, but he doesn't look horrible, right? Maybe. So I don't know. We'll probably bring in a lot of these two and a, all these two and a half star guys. Uh, most of them are English. Uh, Nick McMahon. I don't know. Maybe I bring all these guys in, all the way down to the two stars. Maybe. I mean, he's got pace, dribbling, decent passing already at 15. You know, I'm sitting here comparing them. I guess that's two or three stars compared to who's already on our club. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. All right, we're going to go with Solis in the goal, a back four of Wheel, Fowler, Hildon, and Licka. Very similar to what we've seen. Mapasi scored a couple of goals that last match. So we're going to start him alongside Felipe. Romain stays on the left side with Baffer being out on international duty uh, early on. Pascarello will get onto the right side. Do I want to start Pascarello? I'm going to give Jordan Menza the start. Let's put Menza in there. Uh, Graves and Mark up top. Last minute decision at the bench. And we are off. Bristol City. Can we get this done? Let's go ahead and encourage them. And we get the first highlight. Josh Wheel already on a yellow card. Romaine. There's my posse. And he takes a crack and it just drifts wide of the post. That looked dangerous. Two shots, one on target here in the early going. Let's encourage him again. Wow, the lack of highlights is disconcerting. <laughs> But I'd rather have no highlights. Cardiff and Chelsea in the other match, also nil-nil. All right, now it's going to be a Bristol City highlight. Uh, you know, I don't like that. Headed out, but it goes right to the Leone. Oh, come on. Oh, what a save by Solis. Oh, that was a huge save. He lumps it. Mark gets it. He's passed his man, and what a save at the other end by Carpenter. Two huge saves in about a 15-second span. That one's cleared out. Knocked away. Fowler does good to defend that. And there's a shot. Carpenter with another save. Flips it up into the stands, and we'll take another corner. Wow, it's just been lots of action here in the waning minutes of the half. Felipe can't beat Leone to the ball. Vinicius on Licka. Crosses it. Fowler clears it. Mapasi over to Menza. And nothing happening there. And we go to the half in a scoreless affair. Eight shots to three. We've been the slightly better side. They've had more possession. Pump the fist, get out there, composed. A couple of guys are motivated. Let's encourage them again. Come on, boys. Graves. Graves isn't playing great today. All right, let's go ahead and make a sub. You know what? Let's bring Cesar on for Graves. He has looked really good uh, last couple of matches. I mean, Graves is our go-to guy. What about... I mean, everybody else is playing pretty well. Mensa, let's bring Mensa off and put Pascarello on. Do have uh, Romaine is really tired. There's a header out. Maposi. Yeah. All right, I had to pause right in the middle of that action. I had some stuff going on with the freezer. All right, Mark with the ball through. Oh, it's blocked away at the last minute. Cesar's on it. He gets it in. Oh, that's a that's way back to wheel. Pascarello through ball. Lick is on to it. 
Oh, he's taken down. That was brutal. Is it in the box? Are we going to get a penalty on this? I think he was in the box. I think he was hit in the box and pushed out of the box. VAR is going to check it. Oh, and it's a free kick from outside the box. That's a horrible decision. Romaine, back post. It's in. It's Hildon, his eighth of the season. How many set pieces have we seen from him here down the stretch? All right, I'm going to go into tactics here. Let's slow the pace down. I'm going to go to mixed crosses as well because we've got some good headers of the ball up there. Uh, okay. So I know Romaine kind of needs to come off. He will be our next sub. That'll be our last one of the match. Romaine. It's cleared away. Mark tracks back to get it. He brings it all the way back around to the opposite side of the field. It's lumped in, and there's a header by Cesar. 13th goal of the season. Mark, what a great run by him. Uh, he must have run about four miles there just to get that ball. What a great run. 2-0 to Leicester, and I think think we've got this in the bag. All right, let's go ahead and pull. Well, I was going to pull Romaine off, but we've got a lot of guys tired now. I'm not, well, he is on a yellow. I think let's bring let's bring Felipe off for ooh, Mateus. We'll see. Hopefully that was the right decision. 86th minute. Romaine Headed away. There's Mateus back into Fowler. Mateus looking to do something with the ball. We get pushed back. Oh, there's Mateus. And not, oh, Pascarello. Oh, what a tackle away by, was that Rosen Green or Breton? I think it was Rosen Green. He just flew in there at the last minute to knock it out of play. And boy, she is not happy about that. She thinks we deserved a goal, and I agree. Solis. Uh-oh, that was a bad play. Nobody's on him. There's the cross and the deflection back in. Nobody. Oh, we have got to give a shout. Um, fire up the entire team. Come on. That was horrible. Uh, you know what? And I'm going to turn off that slow the pace down. We're only nursing the one goal advantage here. Over the top. Flick on header. Uh, couldn't get it to Cesar. Fowler. Good job getting up for that one. Cesar. Mark. Deflected away. Romaine's into the box. Oh, my God. It was cleared away again, and Pascarello sends it over the bar. We're going to hold on here for the 2-1 to one victory, but, boy, I just I feel like we let a little bit get away there. But, hey, you know, you're at this level, a good win. At this level, you got to just take that. You know, any team that gets this far is a threat. Newcastle beat Arsenal. And Cardiff, what's the L? Oh, latest score. Uh, is that a final? Might not be a final. Cardiff beating Chelsea 1-0. And we are through the quarters into the semifinals. We pick up a million dollars for that, which is a nice little chunk of change. And yeah, there's the final. Cardiff 2-1 over Chelsea. Couple of late goals there. We've got 27 players off on international duty. Let's take a look at the upcoming schedule. So I think we're going to go ahead and come back for, uh, look at this, we play Newcastle three times in four. Uh, but we'll play, the, so next episode we'll see the quarterfinal first leg highlights, and then we'll play out the away leg against Newcastle. Unless, of course, we have something similar happen where we're just dominating. And then we also have the FA Cup semifinal 
uh, right after that. So we've got a lot still going on this season. But as of right now, we talked about it last episode, could be in our last year here. If we do win silverware, I think that makes my mind up for me for sure. Uh, but anyway, I think we do come back for, uh, for the Newcastle, and then we'll come right back after that for FA Cup semifinal. And then we'll see where we go from there. Guys, hit that like button for me. Subscribe for daily football manager content here on the channel. And thank you so much for hanging out. We'll see you. Bye.